Last time on Doki Doki Tropical Rain. I'm sorry, Finn, but they don't let you have your phone here. I'm going to be off the grid for a while. I look. That was the last text I was sent before they, my guess is, confiscated her phone. Who's they? Yuri was sent away to some far off mental hospital for treatment. Dear honey, salutations. Sorry I was, I haven't been able to contact you until now. In the text I sent, I stated that I wasn't allowed to have my cell phone with me. This is true. According to the doctors, it's so my healing process isn't ruined by anything I may see online. I can understand them. What I don't understand is that the only way I can communicate is through letters. This may be a fantasy of mine to communicate with a loved one through mail and love letters, but when it's your only option, you begin to dislike it. But anyway, I'm glad to be able to talk to you again. And before you ask the inevitable questions in your letter back, doctors are treating me nice. Yes, I'm safe. No, I'm not enjoying myself. Yes, it's hard. No, I don't feel as if I'm getting better just yet, but that's okay. Though, now that we're past the basic stuff, I... I miss you, hon. It's been only around a week and a half, but... I miss when we would sleep together. I miss when you would kiss me on the forehead and call me babe. I miss being able to rest my chin on your head. I miss being loved. Everything is so sterile here. It's dreadful. And, well... To get to the meat and potatoes of this hospital stay, it hasn't been going so well. I feel like we've made no progress and, the doc and all of the doctors seem like they're trying to dodge the fact that my arms are covered in scars and my wrist, is, and my wrist still has an actively healing wound. It's ridiculous. The doctors keep trying to talk to me about my emotions and how I feel in my daily life. It just makes me want to scream. I'm not here to talk about my emotions, I'm here for you to fix me. Obviously, it's not that easy. I know that. But I just want him to start trying something. Anything. Maybe it takes more time. I'll go along with what they say. But for now, I love you. Oh Glob, I love you. Please stay safe. And please stay strong. Farewell. Sincerely and with love, Yuri. Well, I'm glad to know that she's doing all right in the hospital, so that really makes me happy. But what was fun was the day me and Sayori had yesterday. It was... it was nice. It was really nice to be able to talk to her again. And playing that old Nintendo, I'm not entirely sure what console it is, but I'm pretty sure we just played Smash. Not that kind of Smash. This Smash. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> Seriously, not that kind of smash. Shut the fuck up. Salutations. I have great news. It worked. By glob, it worked. Only for a little bit though. Halfway though, I began to lose vision of you in my head and I just... Sorry, but I just locked up. I couldn't tell the doctor... I couldn't tell the doctor was disappointed. But he said he was happy that I was making progress. So I guess that's good. To be honest, I am not sure how long I'm going to be here. My original thought of only a few weeks is not looking good. At this rate, it's going to be much longer. And I'm not excited about that. But whatever helps me get better, I suppose. I love you. Farewell, Yuri. Well, that tactic work. Think you can mail an envelope for me? Sure can. He took my envelope. Have a good day. Uh, and then I got the heck out of there. Back to the bus. A 20 minute bus ride for some glob dang stamps. <laughs> well, I uh, I feel you, man. I feel you. <laughs>
I tried to make food to take my mind off the situation, but clearly I couldn't leave it alone for more than three minutes. It was just worrying. Two days, two days, two days, and then four. What could have happened? Did he lose track of time? Did the letter get lost by the postal service? Did my letter get lost? Did the bastard at the post office lose my letter? I knew I shouldn't have... Well, uh, what the heck was that? It sounded like something hit the floor. I hit the door. Did some kid throw an apple at my door? I stood up and walked to the front entrance. I opened up the door and looked down at my welcome mat. A newspaper? I'm not subscribed to any paper services, and this one doesn't seem to be <clears throat> some kind of free service either. It was probably delivered by mistake. I bent down to pick it up, and when I stood back up and looked out onto my lawn, I noticed it. My mailbox, red flag, pointed up. I dropped the newspaper and ran to it. Holy heck, how did I miss this? I was outside just this morning. Maybe I was too tired or maybe it was just delivered today? Either way, opening up the mailbox and seeing a white letter was one of the most re re relieving things I've ever experienced. I quickly tore it open. Okay, another letter. Honey, I kept moving forward. I had my, full fr my first full session with the doctor just two hours ago. It was difficult. It may have been one of the most difficult experiences in my life, but I did it. I talked to the therapist about the experience at the carnival. I believe I'm ready to talk more about more than that, but I'd rather take it slow, if that makes sense. Talking about other aspects of the problem gets a little deeper than just me making a mistake. But the carnival was progress. I'm proud of myself, and I know you're proud of me too. I love you so, so much. Farewell, Yuri. Uh, I wiped my eyes. Dang, who's cutting onions? Definitely no one, of course, because I'm just, I'm the only one in the room. She's getting better. Well, aside from Jake, but um, he's playing uh, video games somewhere. She's healing. It's working. I held the paper to my chest and slowly fell to my knees. Glob, she, she's getting better. She's doing it. The tears fell harder. I was crying. I... Something I said helped? Right? I didn't want to cause more problems? I laughed. Good fucking lord. I didn't ruin someone's life. No, 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 no. I... I didn't do anything wrong this time. Yuri's solving her, her problems and I'm just there in the background. Uh... Exactly as it should be. I cried harder. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Uh. I slowly gathered myself. I needed to write back. I stood up and walked back into my house. I sat down at the bar and pulled over my template. It was just a piece of paper and pen. Something I had set up two days ago in preparation for a letter. But since her letter didn't arrive on time, it just sat there, gathering dust. But I'm glad I could put it to use now. Yuri, I'm so happy to hear this. I'm so happy and I'm so proud of you. You have no idea how proud I am. I love you so much. Finn, it was, it was a short letter. But hopefully my words carry the weight they should. I put my letter in an envelope, used a stamp, and opened, the f opened my front door. I closed my front door, I, my front door after putting the mail in the mailbox. I walked into my living room, smile on my face. Finally, leaving, feeling more lively, I picked up my sandwich and took a bite. Pass for me. Nice. Yum yum. I sat in the club room, feeling completely empty. Hey, 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 it's been a while since we haven't been in the, uh, in the club room for so long. I miss this place. My good mood from a week ago was all but gone. Like a flame, it died out. I'll report back then. She never did. An entire week and I had heard nothing from her. 
My mind kept jumping to conclusions. Did her letter get lost in customs? Did she forget to send a letter? Did she fail? Obviously, this all of this was just a bunch of worst case scenario situations my mind had come up with to freak me out. But my spirit already weakened so harshly by the absence of fury that I felt myself to believe the things in my mind was saying. That she really did fail. That she was dead in the ditch somewhere after a successful attempt on her own. What? What? Why would you think about that? Things are going so well. You don't have to, <laughs> to think that so far. Yeah, you, you don't have to go through so far for that, man. Wham. Ah, jeebus. Someone slammed something onto my desk, which scared the heck out of me. Oh, Natsuki. Um, sorry for being a dick, but, um, please, would you mind your manners? Because I'm lost in thought right now. Uh, Natsuki? That's my name, yes. Uh, it's nice to see you. What's up with you, Finn? Straight to the point as usual. What do you mean? I'm fine. I wasn't. Oh yeah, it's been a while since I uh, haven't seen her since our uh, our lunch date with Yuri a few episodes ago. Well, aside from waking me up, it's good to see her again, at least. Well, I've been paying attention. You seem really upset by something. You don't have to lie to me. Uh, wow, that's... What? Never mind, never mind. It's just... I looked around. Everybody was off doing their own thing. It was safe. My wall crumbled. I haven't seen Yuri in weeks. Nor have I heard from her at all. It's really getting to me. Oh, that's it? I thought your mom died or something. <gasps> Brah. 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 Natsuki, are you pulling that uh that black air force thing or something on me? <laughs> not not quite, not quite. She's not into th that quite of um uh that into that just yet. <laughs> uh shoutouts to J Killen Gaming and the others from the Killen Corner for that term. <laughs> just go visit her, dude. I'm sure the hospital allows visitors. It's twelve hours away, Natsuki. So uh, so I... What? You don't want to see her or something? No, I do, but... Don't make excuses. You love her, don't you? Y yes, of course. And go see her. Uh, I can just take the train, right? Glob, I can. Yes, you can, dummy. Glob, I feel so stupid. That's normal. You are pretty stupid. I admit, I, I'm a... Uh, I, uh, I'm a bit of a dumbass. Anyway. Yuri sat down in the desk next to me. Did you see the new manga that the author of Parfait Girls came out with? It's really... I began to tune her out. Not to be rude, but just to appreciate things. I could just go visit Yuri. It was as easy as buying a terrain ticket. This is going to be a piece of cake. It was not a piece of cake. Uh, 10,950 yen is the cheapest option. My heart hurt, but my wallet hurt more. Oh no, <laughs> my wallet is dead. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I winced, but quickly strengthened my resolve. For Yuri. Click. Uh, a window popped up. Are you sure? I slammed my head onto my desk. Yes, dang it, I'm sure. I clicked yes, and when the purchase went through, I screenshot the ticket. I then emailed the picture to myself, shut my laptop, and turned off my light. I slowly crawled into bed. The train leaves at 8 o'clock tomorrow. Hopefully I can get out of the house by 7 o'clock. Giving myself time to get there and situate it for a 12 hour train ride. I sighed. The things I do for love... Well, you gotta do it for Yuri, man. 
I rubbed my eyes. Oh, this is a nice looking trade station. Sagina Kam Sagi Sagina Kamiya Station. Okay. Oh dang it, it's too early for this. I got through all of the security and all of the luggage garbage. After that it was just standing around in the middle of the giant train station waiting for my ticket to be called. Thank glob it's cold in the mornings. I muttered and put my hands in my pockets. Because of course, whoops, <laughs> just yeah, might move my mouse. Because of course, I had to wear the special, special sweater that you already made for me. I mostly, uh, a mostly outside train station is both a blessing and a curse. I could be getting sunburned to heck for all I know. That's the thing I don't know. Oh, but that's the thing. I don't know. I just wonder if I should go to the general store and get some sunscreen. Train 32 is now boarding. Train 32 from the Nakatomi to Lakeview. I repeat. I checked my ticket. Yep, I was right. It was time to board. I shuffled towards the approaching train. Seeing the vast amount of people lining up only made me more nervous. Despite being on the bus plenty of times, I've never been on a train. I can only hope it's not too different. Uh, I mean, it looked different. But one thing I can say with confidence is that the assigned seats on the public transportation is the best thing since sliced bread. Not having to worry about if I'll be standing for hours is something I'm not going to take for granted. But something I did take for granted was not having to tr ride a train for hours. Clearly, things have changed. I sighed. This is gonna suck. 11 hours and 59 minutes later. Yeah, that sucked. Watching the sun go down on a train was pretty cool, but getting there was probably the most boring experience of my life. My phone died quickly, I finished the books I brought, and my laptop wasn't even charged. I sat there and did nothing for four straight hours. I would have tried sleeping, but the train was moving around too much. I would have tried socializing, but everyone around me was some tired businessman or some tired mother. But all in all, uh... I'm just glad it's almost over, and that I can get to see Yuri. That's probably the only thing that kept me during the arduous journey. The thought of my grape angel. <laughs> of course, Finn's boring adventure, totally not a JoJo reference, in a train. What could go wrong? Uh, instantly wrote off that off my list to things to call Yuri. That just felt bleh. I looked out the window and tried to brainstorm some more names, which I then I noticed that we had begun to slow down. Now arriving at Lakeview Station. Oh, thank glob! I'm finally here. I put everything I had back. <laughs> I I put everything I had out back in my backpack and put set back on set back. When the train fully stopped, I stood up only to almost immediately fall back down. My legs fell asleep. God dang it. I tried my best to balance as, as I stood once up again. And when I finally got motor function back, I walked off the train. It was quite dark. I needed to find a bus stop. Had to ride to my hotel and rest up for tomorrow. I want to be in tip-top shape when I see that mature beauty. No, no. That makes her sound old. <laughs> ah, jeez. Hmm, this is really, really nice and cozy. I like it. Why do hotel rooms never have blinds? Well, motel rooms. I'm running off my savings here. I can't afford a hotel. I shook my head. I gotta get up. I want to save her what little time I have. I muttered, forcing myself to sit up. I left my bed, showered in a crappy motel shower, changed clothes, ate a bag of chips for breakfast, and checked out. After checking out, I walked through the area to reach the bus stop I used last night. I will say, it's nice to be away from the suburbia. This place felt homely. 
Buildings were sprinkled here and there, yeah, but it was no Tokyo. And being able to hear the birds was nice. I continued this train of thought as I sat down on the bus stop bench. Glob, it really is just a beautiful day today. It's perfect for a date. I rubbed my hands together, deviously so, as the bus pulled up to the curb. I stepped off the bus a few minutes later. Well, here we are. Lakeview? I think? I'm blanking on the name, but this was the hospital. Which meant that I was only a few minutes away from seeing my girlfriend. It really was that... It really was just that easy. I felt like a fool for not considering it before. 12 hours was nothing. I deeply exhaled as I pushed the doors open. I walked over to the lady at the front desk. Hello. Oh, hello again, Kotonoha. I haven't seen you uh, since um, you were the flower girl back in, uh, back in Tokyo, but here you are as the desk lady. I hope there aren't any Kotonoha um, doppelgangers out there because of... Oh boy. <laughs> How may I help you? She seemed oddly familiar. Yes, she is because it's fucking Kotonoha. But I can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> what? What? Konunoha? Did you did you get a hair a different haircut? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she has a different haircut. <laughs> I shook my head. I'm here to visit my girlfriend. Ah, how sweet. Let me check if she's open for visitors. My heart sunk. What's her name? I gave her Yuri's first and last name. But as I did, I felt myself disso disassociate. Open for visitors? What if she isn't open for visitors? Will I have to go all the way back? Will this entire trip have been for nothing? Looks like you're good to go. She's in room 20 uh, 204 of the east of the west wing. Would you like a map? Uh, yes please. She handed me a paper brochure and I was off. Uh... Thank glob she's open for visitors. I don't know w what I would have done if she wasn't. Probably cry. But whatever. No time to dwell. I have places to be. After a few minutes of walking, I found myself in the West Wing. And subsequently, outside the room, I was told to go to. I took a deep breath. This is what I've been waiting for. Uh... I steeled my nerves and I knocked. Uh, no reply. I knocked again. Yuri? Um, nothing. I jiggled the doorknob. It was unlocked, so most likely she's in there. I considered my options. And then I opened up the door. Not gently opened the door. Uh, she was asleep. <gasps> uh, she's, she's sleeping. She's sleeping peacefully. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Well, I needed a water break there, because of course, um, my voice. But it was her. It was Yuri. I felt overwhelmed almost at the sight of her. I was relieved, happy, excited, everything. And I was just so violently in love. Being in this state of mind after only being away from a girl for a few weeks could not have been healthy. But I didn't care. Y My voice cracked. Yuri! Ah! She jumped, startled awake by my yell. Oop. Crap. Sorry. Oh, Bin, it's just you. For a second there, I thought. She trailed off. And then practically tackled me. Oh my god. Glob. Right, speech and pet. She grabbed me tightly and I felt my bones get crushed. Along with my airflow being cut off. This feels familiar. Good. She whispered into my chest. Uh, before it began to get wet. She kissed my sweater and then she put her head on my shoulder. It's been so hard without you here. She sniffled. I missed you so badly, and you were, Finn, you were 12 hours away. 
How did you? Hey, hey. I rubbed her head. I took a train. It was worth it to see you. Don't worry about it. She nodded. Okay. There was a pregnant pause. The silence of the room only filled by me and by me rubbing Yuri's hair. I She spoke up, her voice faulting. I thought I wasn't going to make it at times. I know, I know. It's all right now. I'm here. You're here. We're back. I kissed the top of her head. Uh coconut. I chuckled internally. Of course she brought her soap with her. I I know. She laughed almost forcefully. Uh, Glob, look at me. I could feel her wipe at her eyes. Crying over a boy. Well, if it helps. I cried over plenty of boys. She giggled. Genuinely. Yes, honey. That helps. She pulled away, giving me a kiss as she did. I smiled. She smiled wider. So, uh, do you want to get lunch? Um, I don't know if it's just me or the quality, but her face just looks, uh, her crying face just looks pixely all of a sudden. Oh, well, I wouldn't dwell that much because I'm pretty sure some other mods are like this, like the one back in Night Nurse, so I wouldn't complain too much about it. She wiped her eyes. Finn, I'm starving. Perfect. I know just the place. Apparently, the hospital lets their patients go outside. Yuri said that she liked to go to a nearby park when given free time, so after lunch, that was our next destination. I won't live up to the one back home, but I'm sure it'll be just nice. Speaking of nice, we're here! I opened up the doors and let Yuri go first. I'm a gentleman, after all. We talked to a waiter and they sat us down at one of the tables. The atmosphere is nice and I've heard the food is great. Hey, this this looks really, really nice. Hopefully this place reaches those expectations for you. The atmosphere is alright, but I haven't eaten anything yet. We'll just have to wait and see. That we will, Yuri. That we will. After that small exchange, a waiter walked up to our table. Hello, you two. My name is Clay. How may I serve you today? Any drinks to start us off? Clay? Okay. It's a nice name for, uh, for, for someone, of course. Or anyone. Um, sure. Just the water, please. Okay, and what about the lady? Water, please. Alright, two waters coming right up. I'll give you some time to look over the menus. He handed us two laminated binders. And I'll be back with, in a few with your drinks. He walked off and I felt slightly off put. That felt... I turned to Yuri. Kinda odd, don't you think? It did feel like he was rushing things up a bit. We just sat down. She giggled her mature giggle. Wow, she sounded like a 22-year-old woman, but I absolutely adored it. For a second there, I found myself just staring at her. Uh, um... You alright, honey? I blinked. Ah, sorry. It's just... Have I ever told you how beautiful you are? She nodded. All the time. Well, okay. Have I ever told you how absolutely dashing your eyes are? She blushed. No, I think... I think that's new. She grabbed my hand. But I have no qualms with you telling me that more often. She tightened her grip. Sorry, I... I know I probably sound ridiculous. Hey! I grabbed her other hand. I just want you to know that I still love you. Speech impediment or not, I are still you. And you know what that means? What? It means that you're perfect. I'll say it time and time again, but you really are. At least, you are to me. I gave her a quick peck on the lips and her cheeks flared up again. Alright guys, I've got your waters. Perfect timing, Clay. I smiled at Yuri. 
and she smiled back. Clay set the waters down and took out his notepad. So, uh, have we looked over the menus? Do either you want any appetizers or anything? Uh, could we please get one of the pretzels? Sure thing. Anything else? I think we're good for now. Alright, you two have fun and I'll get you that pretzel. Uh, I turn to Yuri. How did you know they had pretzels? It's on that sign over there. She pointed behind me and I turned around in my chair. World famous pretzel. Uh, that was quick thinking, Yuri. I'm impressed. Well, when you spend most of your life avoiding contact with people, you pick up a few things. Uh, well, alright then. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. We spent around an hour in that restaurant. Talking, chatting, but mostly, we're just, we were just enjoying each other's company. Both of us had the mindset. Both of us knew. Both of us were thinking it. I'm just so happy to see you again. It felt like a dream come true, honestly. Uh, I probably relied on Yuri too much. But who cares? We're here for a good time, not a long time. Yuri set down her fork, seemingly done with her meal. There was a bit left on her plate, but you could chalk that up to her being full. Uh, but I knew she had more in her. She wasn't full, she was saving room. And I was thankful she was. Because the exact reason we went to this restaurant? Something I haven't mentioned to Yuri up until this point? Well, let's just say it's dessert related. Ooh hoo hoo, dessert! Yum yum! I'm starting to feel hungry now. <laughs> There's Clay. He doesn't have the check, so I assume he's coming by to ask about dessert. Hook, line, and sinker. Hey there, guys. Enjoying the meal? I nodded. Yup. Thanks, Clay. Of course. Now, of course, I have to ask. Are we thinking about any dessert? Oh, I'm good, but... Hook, line... <laughs> Oh, um, do you have any pin piña colada ice cream? And sinker. We do. Would you like some? She gasped. Y yes, I would, please. She was holding back. Sounds good. I'll be back with that in a second. Clay walked off and Yuri turned to face me. You knew, didn't you? I smiled. You knew. Of course you knew. What can I say? I... I would have finished my sentence, but I was caught off. Caught off by a pair of lips against mine. Uh... I'll take my Boyfriend of the Year award, please. <laughs> yes, sorry. At least in this one. After a few seconds of intense passion, she broke it off. You knew. You knew and you remembered. She wiped her eyes. Oh, Glob. She giggled. I really need to stop crying. Well, seeing you crying tears of happiness is something I don't think I'll ever get tired of. Just so you know. She giggled again. Well, I'll be sure to keep doing it. If that makes you that happy. I nodded. It makes me more happy than you could ever imagine. I leaned over the table and gave her a kiss on the cheek. Ah, sorry for my uh, for my bletching back there. I just ate a, ate some pretzels in the in the mud and all that, but whatever. Uh, um, this day is perfect. Indeed, it is. We walked out of the restaurant, our stomachs full. That was pretty good. Yuri muttered. Yeah, not bad for being in the middle of nowhere. Nope. I grabbed Yuri's hand and continued to walk. So, where's that park you mentioned earlier? I turned to face her. It's back by the hospital. We take, we have to take the bus back there. Aw, oh, crap. We don't have to. No, no, it's alright. The buses here are extraordinarily empty. I'll be fine. Uh, well, great. Take me to your park, Yuri. Let's go. She began to run, but stopped instantly. Uh... I'm not going to run on a full stomach. Smart move, Yuri. Smart move. We walked to the bus stop instead. 
It was nice. The weather remained gorgeous, and so did Yuri. But between the weather and Yuri, the more gorgeous one isn't even a competition, I'd say. I chuckled. I would probably blush if I said that out loud. Uh, hey, Yuri. This park isn't as good as the other one. Sorry. That's alright. You can't really compare the two, you know. The other one is special. This one just kinda... exists. Uh... Uh... Why is the other one special? I turned my head. What do you mean? We had our first date there. Our first conflict there. That other date. That other other date. That other other. Okay, I get it. I just didn't know if you felt the same way that I did. Uh... I put my hand on her shoulder. Yuri, I love you. I let go of her shoulder and continued walking. Uh... uh, uh huh? I chuckled. Hey! I don't know why, but I began to run. Yuri didn't sound too angry, judging by the constant giggling as she chased after me. But now I was giggling. I was having fun. The first time in a while, I was back to having fun with Yuri. And it made me feel so alive. I continued running on the path until I tripped on something. Most likely a loose rock. Ooh. I either way I went tumbling down onto the grass. Uh, I shook my head as I sat up and looked at my surroundings. I was in a forest clearing. Like the lawn back home. Hey, are you okay? I heard Yuri. She must have seen me fall. He ran over and stood above me. I saw you fall. You're not hurt, are you? No, I... I'm fine. But look where we are. He looked around. Oh, this is a pretty nice little clear... <laughs> this is a pretty little clearing. Yes, it is. And you know what forest clearings are perfect for? What's that? I fell back, <laughs> I fell back down onto the grass. Staring at the clouds, I looked up into the sky. That one looks like a bunny. Hmm. That one looks like a bulldozer. That one is weird. Hmm. That one looks like my love for you. Hmm. Yuri, on her knees, draped her body over on top of me. It hurt a little bit, but I'm not sure telling her that was a smart idea. As I focused back up on the clouds, she adjusted herself to be more comfortable. She was now lying on my chest. Uh, exactly where she belonged. Everything was perfect. Until something struck me. Hey. Yes? Why did you stop writing letters? I'm sorry to bring this up now, but that was kind of concerning. Why did I stop writing? Why did you stop writing? Huh? We stared into each other's eyes. I sent my letter, and then you never replied. That's not true. I always reply to your letters. Uh... Uh... It got lost in customs, didn't it? Yeah. Definitely. She hid back in my chest and I went back to the clouds. Uh... That one looks like my everlasting love for Yuri. Then? Uh... Yeah? Jeez, that kinda spooked me. Uh... Please don't leave. Oh. I smiled sadly and, uh, and ran a hand through her hair. Well, I have to leave eventually. Why? Because I doubt they'll let me stay here. Why not? She said, muffled by my sweater. You have tons of spare wombs. Yeah, but I don't want to take the room of someone who might need it. Then just stay in my room. Then I'll be distracting you. From what? From, from being strong. For being strong and getting better. Man, that sounded awful. We can't have you relying too, on me too much, right? That sounded a little better. Uh, uh, Yuri sighed. I know. Just, just want to live in my fantasy land. Just for a little longer. Uh, well, Yuri, I'm not going anywhere. Not yet. So you can keep living here. And you can, and I'll keep providing it. 
Yay. She sounded tired. Are you falling asleep? I chuckled. N no. Uh. Mm. She began to snore. I had to hold myself back from laughing. Nice. <laughs> Though, speaking of nice, I must once again comment on today. I got to see my girlfriend. We went out of lu for lunch. The weather is fantastic. Yuri is slowly getting better. My relationship with Monica doesn't seem strained. Me and Sayori are friends again. Oh man. Despite it all, you know? Despite the struggle. Despite the pain. Uh. I leaned down and kissed her on the head. Oh, my coconut princess. The joy and the frustration that came with choosing with you. Despite all of it. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, this is so sweet. I have no words to say, but still, it's so sweet. Also, I noticed that MC doesn't have eyes because sure, her his bangs are not as long. That's just weird. Uh. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Um, his eyes were closed. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. I, I'm a, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Choosing you is the best decision I've ever made. Of course. Epilogue. Tropical rain. Okay. Mr. Yagi, I loved your novel. Do you think you can sign my f copy? Sure, kid. I open the book and I pop the cap off my pen. I write my name down on the cover page along with a thank you. There you go. Now, I don't want to see this on eBay, you hear me? Of course not, sir. The fan nods his head rapidly. Of course, respect the creators, don't be a fucking scalper. Because scalpers are pieces of shits. He scampers off and another person comes in after him. Glop, book signings. They're gonna be the death of me. Mr. Yagi, your work on Tropical Rain was amazing. Oh! So, I'm thinking Mr. Yagi is my pen name for as the author, so they wouldn't know that I'm Finn. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> well, I'd say that's that's really, really clever. How did you do it? Just hard work, you know. Of course, Sensei. I chuckled. I signed his book too, giving him a smiley face. What can I say? He made me laugh. <laughs> After the book signing, I went to make a pit stop at the pit stop downtown. She should be here somewhere. Yup, there she is. Hello, Mr. Ya Yagi. Oh, flowers. Kotonoha! <laughs> She's back again! Flower girl caught Kotonoha. Hey there, Koto. Here for your flowers? I nod. Sorry I'm so late. That's okay. She takes the bundle of flowers and puts them in a bag. I know you have your book signings and all that. I nod and take out my card. I pay for the flowers, grab my bag, and then nod my head. Good night. Have a good night, Koto. You too, Finn. I smile and wave. Hey, hey, I was right on the uh, on the pen name of Mr. of y Mr. Yagi. I drive down the road to my house. Flowers in the passenger seat next to me. I hope she likes these. Should be a good apology for having to stay out late. I chuckle. <laughs> of course. I pull into my driveway and hop out of my car. Finally home. I walked up to my front door and unlocked it. Phew! It's warm in here. Good thing too because it was cold as heck out there. I walk into the kitchen. But when I do, the light flips on. Uh. Oh. Oh, oopsie poopsies, she knows that I'm out late and she's angry. Now, I know how this looks. Yeah, I hope, you, I would hope you do. Uh-oh, she's pissed. She walks towards me and I worry she's gonna get physical. Until her face softens. I was worried sick, you know. Oh... Okay. Okay, thank goodness me. <laughs> uh, 
I know, I know, and I... I'm sorry. I held out the flowers. I got caught up at the book signing, and I... He gives me a kiss on the cheek. Apology accepted. She takes the flowers. Oh, these are so pretty. Finn, how did you know these? I listen, you know. Jeez. Do you now? Yes. I say in mock outrage. Give me some more credit. Okay. She leans in and gives me a real kiss. Uh, it lasts a few seconds and then she pulls away. How's that for some more credit? Uh, that's some pretty damn good credit, babe. We both lean in and our lips lock once more. Uh, we were both thinking it. We both had the same mindset. As usual. Uh, I love you. Ah, uh, the end. Ah, oh, bravo, bravo to this mod. Credits roll. Oh, raining and some mist in the background. That's nice. Doki doki tropical rain, ladies and gentlemen. Creator, author, and coder, Elliot Smith. Composer, Seeger, Tune Eternal. Songs I made for the game and in the game. That's a lot. And of course, there's also the OST. Go check that out. I'll put it in the link in the description. Thank you, Xavier, for two poems, proofreading advice, and all around good help. Other music by Mew and Amacha. The CGs. Costa, Dropo, Mary, and Minus Two. Oh, he also helped on that one too. That's cool. Sprites. Silver and all the other people there. Hmm. Even Oliver. Bee Gees. Coroneco Games Flicker and all the other people as well. Man, I gotta say, this mod... Really, really great. Thank you so much to all who donated. Special thanks. Oh, and all the people, especially Gummy, uh, Six Billion, Ayan, and any other people I know of as well, because I see them in the uh, in the J Killin Corner as well, or the Killin Corner. And a very special thanks to uh, Mom, Dad, Step, Mom, Step, Dad, and I assume that might be his um, family. I think. But most of all, thank you, player. You're welcome. You're welcome, dev team. You're welcome. Everyone in special thanks, please check Coconut Princess to see a very special message for you and a copy of the original soundtrack. Aw, that's cool! See more of our work at Pumpkin Brain. Okay, I might going to check that out after I'm done with this. Thanks for playing. And that, fellow knights and adventurers, is Doki Doki Tropical Rain. And oh man, <laughs> what a roller coaster ride of a mod that is. An emotional one. And I got nothing else to say other than, for me at least, that this is the definitive Yuri experience. Now, I may be wrong, but at least in your opinion, that there are other mods out there that are like that. But for me at least, at least with this mod, I'd say this is the definitive Yuri experience. Well, maybe close to uh, to Blue Skies and other Yuri mods I haven't played, but for me, this would be it. So uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this, uh, this mod with me and um, <laughs> I really hope you do because man, kind of long but not as long as, as Doki Doki Blue Skies but still this was really really fun I admit and uh, shout outs to the uh, to the mod creators uh, Pumpkin Brain and of course uh, Savior the, uh, the the composer for this for this mod you really did some amazing sound check to this one and I really 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 love them 
So uh, yeah, um, if you enjoyed playing, so you enjoyed watching this as much as I do, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future, and click on the bell notification to be notified as well. And if you want to play this mod for yourself, as always, link in the description below. And that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching, Finn the Dark Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun, fellow knights and adventurers.